let's see what we get today. Let's roll the dice. Let's uh, pull that handle on the armament slot machine and see what happens. And nowadays, it, it, it has come to a stage where Lily doesn't even care. Oh my God, this is so confusing. Is a loot slot machine. It's really a loot slot machine. The armament system was not well received by the Rise of Kingdoms community, but it does seem to be less pay to win than the equipment system in Crystal Tech. So why does the new armament system seem so unenjoyable? To answer this question, we need to go back and understand why people play Rise of Kingdoms in the first place. Rise of Kingdoms is a city building war game where you progress your account in a multitude of ways. One of the most satisfying things about playing Rise of Kingdoms is seeing your account get stronger by building up your account. From the first time you hit City Hall 25, or the first time you expertise to Commander, or the first time you unlocked T5, or the first legendary set you finished, all of these systems previously gave a clear path of progression, with milestones which helped indicate that you were making progress towards that final goal. For example, before you fully expertised it, you could make it usable by making it 5551, or there are different ways to invest your gold heads to still make it usable even though you didn't reach your final objective. Though grindy, pay to win, and having a high reliance on RNG mechanisms, these systems gave the satisfying feeling of gratification even before reaching the end goal through these milestones within the path of progression. This is what Lilith got wrong with their new systems. People play Rise of Kingdoms to feel that sense of progression through accomplishing milestones, through successfully chasing and fulfilling whatever set goal they had. What the new systems are lacking is this clear path to progression. No dopamine filled milestones pursue, just to the loot slot machine where you feel like you either got lucky or got screwed over. Instead of being able to work on armaments you already have, you're rolling the dice hoping you get a legendary armament that has the right formation, the right armament slot, the right troop type for all the stats given with the right inscriptions. No sense of progression, everything you collect is either usable or you will throw it away. No heads, no materials to collect to help you progress through the armament system or improve your current armaments. This is a core aspect of gameplay that makes the armament and inscription system feel so bad to play. There is no chase, just chance. The solution is to make the system have a chase, the milestones, to make the goal more fun to pursue instead of it only just consisting of loot slot machines. A suggestion would to create a way to improve and customize the armaments we already have. Instead of rolling for the perfect armaments, it can then have a, some semblance of a goal, a starting point, a middle point, and an end point to work towards. In conclusion, Lilith missed the mark with the armaments, and although it has the same RNG pay to win elements that the other systems have, they forgot to give a clear chase and goal to run towards, leading to resentment from both free-to-play and pay-to-win players towards the system.